All right, thanks for staying. You're here on the AM show. Time to do some sports. And the ongoing uh, World Athletics Championship, the opening weekend of the uh, championship has recorded some amazing performances with America's uh, Christian Coleman and Jamaica's Shelley and Fraser Price emerging fastest man and woman. Uh, woman. Now, there, there was joy for Africa in the women 100 meter final as Ivy Coast Mario to, uh, Talu uh, won bronze. Uh, my colleague Georgia the Jr. is in Doha and has more on the first uh, three days of the competition. Three days already at the World Athletics Championships in Doha and the opening weekend has had some interesting highlights. For the Ghanaian perspective, Joseph Paul Amwa wasn't able to make the semi-final after he ran 10.36, which was definitely low, I mean, right below the standards for qualifying for the semi-final. In the 100 meters final, it was USA's Christian Coleman who came up with a time of 9.76 to win gold. In second was the dethroned defending champion, Justin Gatling, with a time of 9.89 seconds. And in bronze, or winning the bronze, was Canada's Andy DeGrasse. For the women division, it was interesting to see what was going to happen. Shelley Ann Fraser Price was the lady who came up with a one full time there of 10.71 seconds to win it right in second was britain's dina asher smith it's been coming a long time coming she managed to win you know silver and a very good story for africa jose maria talu of ivory coast came up with a bronze right there um, for ivory coast and then for africa great stuff but elaine thompson uh, came in fourth it was very difficult for her she had this achilles problem that actually they stepped her all the way through now other highlights the four by four hundred mixed relay the 4x400 mixed relay uh, was won by the usa that's the first time it's happening and of course we'll see it again makes it make it debut at the 2020 olympics that will be taking place in tokyo for long jump it was jamaica's tj gal who came up with what he needed he throned south africa's lugo mayango in the process then for the 10,000 meters for women it was great to see Stefan hassan of the netherlands winning gold and she did that in grand style great stuff happening here over the next i mean over the past three days and there's definitely more to come you know from the world athletics championship we're keeping tabs on that but a quick reminder that ghana will be participating later this week in the four by hundred meters relay for men and for women. We'll be keeping our taps on that. George Ada Jr. reporting from the Khalifa International Stadium, Doha, Qatar. All right, so that was uh, my colleague George Ada Jr. who is covering the World Athletics Championship in Doha uh, for Joy Sports. Now, the four coverage begins today with a lot expected from uh, athletes. Now, Ghana will be back on, in action uh, on Friday for male and female, four by hundred, uh, really, that's uh, the men and the women we'll see how that will go and of course our coverage uh, is uh, brought to you by dbs industries and adonko uh, they made sure that my colleague georgia Junior was able to fly to doha to bring us everything that is happening at the world athletics championship but away from uh, that uh, we've got to talk about ashanti gold kumasi asante kotoko both teams out of their calf interclub competitions uh, you know kotoko are out of the uh, calf champions league but of course we have to start with ashanti gold they actually crashed out on Saturday, after losing 2 0 to RS Bekani uh, in uh, Bekan. Now, what happened was that uh, Isufu, Dayo, and Said Crouch end the Oranges victory in the first round and second leg fixture, uh, which was played at the Stade Municipal with a slim 3 2 away defeat in the first leg. Now, the uh, North Africans uh, progressed 4 3 uh, on aggregate uh, to the playoff round. So after Ashgood crashed out on Saturday, we were all hoping that Santi Kotoko was going to make it on Sunday. That was yesterday. It didn't happen as they also exited the CAF Champions League. They lost 3-0 to 10-man at all this aisle in Tunisia. Kotoko went into that game having won the first leg at the Babaya Stadium by two goals to nil. So what they needed to do uh, in yesterday's game was to avoid defeat. A draw uh, would have seen them to the next stage or even at least a goal in that game because they, after, at 3-0 down, they needed just a goal uh, to go through on the away goal rule. But that goal never came as they crashed out of the competition. And what it means is that uh, from the CAF Champions League, Santo Kotoko are now coming to play in the CAF Confederation Cup where uh, they will be in the playoff. 